Okay, so weirdly I thought I did a September flip through and apparently I didn't. So weird. It seems like I did that. Anyways, we're going to do it. So, um, September starts my uh, last Fobonichi, artist last Fobonichi for the year. Um, I use three per year. They usually end up being about four inches thick when I'm done. And so, yeah, they get thick. Uh, but they hold together really, really well. And they're really easy to work with all the way to the back. So I really, really like them. I haven't decided if I'm going to do um, these next year. Probably am, though. They just work so well. And I don't know. I was thinking like a traveler's notebook or something. Like, you know, following the trend. But I don't know if I want to do like 12 of them and I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. So anyways, this is a Michael's um, Artist Loft Journal. It's the dotted one. They consider it a hardcover, but as you can tell, it bends. Um, so yeah. All right. So I always do um, a beginning page when I start a new journal. And so you're going to see a lot of simple stories. I just cut apart a lot of their paper and made that. And um, yeah, this is the September divider page. More simple stories because it's my favorite. It's 3.30. It's 3.30. There's that. And then I don't know how the color is going to be on this. I'm switch trying. I'm going to get a new webcam. I don't want to use my big Canon to do videos with. And so this is my big Canon because it focuses in. So I need a new webcam. Do you, anybody use a webcam? What's your favorite webcam? Um, or video cam. Most people use their phones. I don't want to use my phone either. I want something I can just hook up there and leave there. So if you use a webcam, let me know what you use. Uh, September 1st, I had to give the lemongrass a haircut. It, it was out of control and Sophie eats it if I don't keep it cut. And then I got a new Mac. We up, technically we upgraded Dale's computer, but he got my Mac, which is only a couple years old, and then I got a new Mac. And yeah, because I love I'm an Apple person. I know. September second, just working in the grow room. It, we have had fires. Now it's not. We're in October, but through the month of September, Oct August and September, the fires were crazy. Not California crazy, but still pretty crazy and so it's just pictures of all the smoke um, around us and I started an alpha challenge with the group and yeah this is p13 paper it's it's oh, I wish they had more more everything just everything I just buy it all it's just gorgeous um yeah more getting the I figured out how to get a third monitor hooked to my Mac so now I have three monitors instead of just the normal two and I guess it's not normal normal for me um, but I have three three now um, I, we had we, we made this deli meat out of tofu and it was really good it surprisingly kind of looked like meat. it was cool we don't try to replace too many things to make it like real stuff we we don't do that but it you know what else do you call whatever deli stuff you put on there but anyways and then I went <laughs> for years I weighed over 400 pounds years and years and years okay never fell down once in all the years I was more super morbidly obese I lay weigh between 145 and 150 pounds depending on avocados that's all I'm saying about that and now I fall down. <laughs> Actually, I just, I have so much going on and my brain went this way and my feet went that way and I had shit all over the back porch and down I went. 
I got boo-booed. Um, I ordered some new microns and, or some new pens, not microns. I, I got new microns too, but I, I got this set of gray jelly roll pens. Oh, they're so pretty. I need to actually use them. I bought them. Now I just stare at them. And then I got some fine liner Posco pens. Um, this You can't see it, but there's a, a Sophie butt right there. So that was that one. I dug out all my old, old art crafting stuff because I wanted to go through and see if there's anything I could repurpose into new stuff. And um, yeah, so my plan is to reuse some of that. And then some of it I'm going to give away if it's, if it's blank. I'm going to have giveaways and stuff. I've been working on a... Uh, a giveaway box here. I have a, this. I don't know if anybody's going to even want it, but I have start. I have lots of projects that started and never got finished. Um, but and so I'm kind of thinking maybe a box full of goodies to go with that. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, anyways, so that's what that was about. And then I did an art journal page, and uh, I got the new campfire camp campfire. I think is the color. I don't know. I just automatically buy them now because I have all this color. So I just, I haven't used it yet. But um, I changed some fonts or alphas to be a color that I wanted. Dale went to a car show and I dug out all my paints and pencils and stuff. And I'm going to use them. Darn it. Probably not. But I dug them out. Um, this is Saturday the fifth um, we were working in the backyard and I looked over the back fence and the the guy behind us passed away two years ago and his son took over the property but nobody lives there now I, I don't know what happened there but it's big huge huge property um, and these two fawns were laying out underneath the tree by the house and um, I, I believe now mom didn't make it something happened to mom because we we still see one or both of them by themselves and you can tell it's them there it's really young and so I think I think mom didn't make it um, but they were you could just see the spots on them you know um, and then Josh and Dale went over to PetSmart and got kitty litter and stuff and he had to stop and see the the kittens and things like that and just pictures our, our basil is just crazy down in the grow room and so I made pesto out of it um Joshua's birthday we I just uh this is stamperia paper gosh I love that stuff and then uh we got him some airpods and stuff like that 20 year he turned 20 in 2020 20 there's a whole lots of 20s in there um, but I just I just made a pocket out of the paper and then there's he had sushi we, had, we made this shiitake stuff sushi and then we had to actually turn the stove on it got cold and Sophie was vegging vegging in front of it so um, but yeah I like how that turned out it's kind of fun it's flat so that worked out well you can't put a lot of bulk in it um, Dollar Tree wall stickers and we had had the cat crate out to take Benny to the hospital, but he didn't end up going. But they now had to have a pair of little cages. I ordered Velcro dots because I just wanted a couple of them. And I didn't read the instruct the description very good. And I got like thousands. <laughs> so in every giveaway box, I'm going to put Velcro dots because I have a ton See, I told you I ordered microns. I got new microns and new pit pens. We made an apple pie bread. That was really good. And I got my August flip up that day. Chili of some kind or something. Curry probably. And I ordered these teeny tiny little magnets. Ooh, actually, I got them right here. Look at these things. Look at how little. Right? Ah, little. Okay. Um, obviously, I don't have the lighting right, but whatever. Um, and I gutted the kitchen and mopped the floor. That's always nice. Yeah, it had to go in the book because apparently I don't do it very often. Oh no, I just knocked off all my dates. 
See, I didn't get all of... I did alphas this year. This year, this month. And, um... They are so old, they don't stick. I'll have to glue... Come back and glue that in. You didn't see that? Alright, uh, these are more Dollar Tree wall stickers. And, um... This lady wanted to see our phylos and phylogenderins or whatever, and so I took a whole bunch of pictures of those. They're like weeds. I played with tea dyeing and coffee dyeing there, and we made a soup, and I made soy maple glazed acorn squash rings out of our garden squash, which was really cool. This is all distress ink. Um, I don't think I have a video on that. I don't remember. I don't remember. I do the video upload and then I never think about them again. So if I do, I'll link it. But um, but I, I bought a stamp book doc, scrapbook.com white ink to try. And it was it was pretty good. It didn't dry though. It took forever to dry. And But you know, that's, that's the way it works. But, um, and then all of this is distress ink. And I got a new set of Arteza watercolors because I don't paint, so I buy watercolors because I don't paint. Yeah. Um, I wanted the metallic set, so I got that. We planted microgreens and stuff today and got a new set of LED lights for the grow room. Actually for out here because they use less electricity. More P13 paper. So pretty, isn't it? I, I coffee dyed a piece of my art journal paper. I don't think I have it out here. Nope, I have no idea where it went. Imagine. Um, and I think it turned out really cool. And then I, I got an art journal page done. I did get a video on that up. And then this is what the different lights look like we have floating around the house right now. Lots growing in the house. Lots growing. Menu plan got posted. This is some of the foods that we ate for over the past week. And see, I got a video up. And I my order of Stamperia paper showed up. And you can tell I do my pages in a lump sum because there's the order, but I used the paper earlier. <laughs> but, um, and then these are simple stories. Apron strings, I think. Some Tim Holtz ephemera. I ordered some of that. Joanne's had it for like a dollar a package or something. So I ordered all of them because I'm over the top like that. But we're winding down. We're getting hard frost and stuff in September. So I got the last of the squash and some of the peppers. We brought some of these peppers in and are growing them in the house. And then we harvested all the green tomatoes and all of these ripened beautifully. Um, and then, yeah, gardens put away for the season. So we'll be back in there next year. Um, microgreens are growing count down to Christmas actually count down to New Year's I'm not a huge Christmas person nothing against it I just have a 20 year old and it's over um, but I love New Year's New Year's is my favorite holiday so um, anyways today we were out cleaning out the 12 foot bed raised beds and these stupid cosmos that I will never plant again had taken over like trees and so we had to you couldn't even pull them out of the ground you had to whack them off it was awful, we, but we only took those out because we're leaving all of the rest of the flowers out there so that the bugs and stuff can have a place to overwinter. And we found a big old praying mantis that was about that long. He was awesome. Eating on a grasshopper. Go dude. Uh, simple stories, apron strings, and I just I thought the tag thing worked out pretty good. It was fun. Uh, it looks all scrapbooky. I don't scrapbook, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, and then we made this zucchini casserole. Oh, it was really good. All of the re any food you see in my journals, you can find on my Living Whole Food Plant Base Facebook page um, with the recipes and how we made it and stuff. So, and then I ironed all that paper I coffee dyed the other day. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. And then this is one of those Dixie cups. 
I thought that was cool. And we made um, broccoli stir fry instead of beef and broccoli stir fry. We made it with soy curls. Oh, so good. I gave my boxwood basil a haircut. Poor thing was craziness. And we made broth. I've been working on my gardening journal. Um, I think I shared that on here. Um, working on some art journal stuff. And I got I made a, a soup out of are these weird squash that were obviously cross-pollinated from something else and but they were really good it tasted a lot like butternut squash kind of kombucha squash kind of thing it was really good um this is a simple stories paper i cut apart my zinnias are blooming like crazy i learned that they don't like to be crowded with anything but themselves and so as soon as i gutted the front and back garden they came up like gangbusters so that was kind of cool I made a squash, a winter squash chili soup type thing um, out of our winter squash. This is Bow Bunny, I think. Um, I made an aspar roasted asparagus with an heirloom tomato relish type roasted thing over the top. It was delicious. I am going to try to do some jelly printing and so I ordered new rollers and I ordered the 60 count um, acrylic set from Arteza because it was on uber duber sale on Amazon like under 30 bucks. I know right? You would have too. Um, and so I ordered that. I ordered also ordered the Gana Gu 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 the thick watercolors. I can't think of what they're called. And so, but laundry, this was a miscellaneous day, laundry day, microgreens are growing great, and it's the end of the week, so this is the wrap up of what we it's ate. It's 3.45. It's 3.45, last week. Um, let's see. Oh, first day of fall, I was playing with the E6000 spray and some, uh, Gold leaf, gold leaf. You know, you you know what gold leaf is. Anyways, uh, so I I that was what that was, and more pictures of the zinnias. Weird cop car. I would not have pulled over for that cop car. Dale and Josh saw this one morning, and it does not look like it says sheriff on it, but it's like faded out kind of. I would have never stopped for that. Not until we got to a business or something. Um, and then I made a patty pan stir fry type thing. So, yeah, it's all shiny. It was fun. Um, we gutted the big garden. It did its business for the year. Um, and we built a structure over it this year. But it was fully planted when we built it. So we couldn't finish it. And so now that everything is done and out of there, we finished it. So we put on the rafters and some brackets and a second door and we stained it all dark. And and I love it. I'm so in love with it because we have to like protect it from the deer because it's there's an apple tree right there. And so they just trample everything. And so it's it's my little hideaway without walls <laughs> kind of thing. Um and then it's pot washing day. We got all of our pots, summer pots, washed and ready for winter use because we garden all winter in the house. And I found some strawberries. And I didn't even know I had strawberry plants out there anymore. But there they were. There's those watercolor. What are you with a G? Guac? Guash? Guanache? I always want to think, you know, like the chocolate ganache. It's not ganache. Anyways, and then I made a tofu baked vegetable casserole and we fought over the tofu. I know people are like, eh, you, you're, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong if you are not a tofu liker because it is really, really good and we love it in a thousand different ways. My husband was hardcore. I'm not eating tofu. You can't make me. And he, he snitched the biggest piece, the little turd. Um, simple stories, decorations really old simple stories decorations the cat stuff you guys remember that that's like a hundred thousand years old um 
the guys went and filled, got all of our winter pantry stash. I, I kind of let it dwindle over the summer. And then right before f went fall, we, right in fall, we stuffed the cabinets full. So we got 25 pound bags of grains and beans and lots of canned goods and that kind of stuff. And Benny and Sophie were helping. Um, and if you guys want to see any of the close-ups on this, I put them on my Instagram page. And I also put them on Fobonichi Journaler's Facebook group. So if you ever want to see anything close, uh, you can find them either page there. More of that Stamperia. And I was working in my journal and I had an audience. And somebody remembered to actually take a photo of me. Of which they never do. That's why I'm never in photos. Everybody goes, you should take more photos of yourself. First of all, I'm not a selfie person. I don't understand selfies. Some 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 Instagram accounts are like 50,000 pictures of yourself. I, I don't understand that. And so I call me old school. It's not that I don't mind my picture being taken. I just don't understand the need to like do that. But anyways, but the guys never remember to take anything for me. So anyways, it was rare. We made carrot dogs, which are one of our absolute favorite things. If you've not had carrot dogs, you are missing out on life. They are fantastic creepily like regular hot dogs. It's the oddest thing. Um, and then I also made a rice dish a couple of different ways. There's our, our winter squash stash from the garden. It's kind of exciting. Um, and then this is just some shots of everything done and officially put away. I still have patty pants coming though and zucchini. Patty pants were crazy. If you want lots of summer squash plant patty pants, that's it's crazy. Uh, this is the start of we're getting our organized for our indoor winter garden and so this is the start of it. A lot of this stays in all year long but a lot of it we're bringing in too and we're getting planted. We, we grow greens all, all winter. Um, my coleolus is get, was blooming. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, and then we transplanted a bunch of stuff that day. I'm not telling you what this stuff is, but I don't think... This stuff is old. I'm a stash user on most of this, so old paper. I have no idea. I cut it apart. It's gone. Um, I made a squash chili. And then these are... Um, we're growing pak choy and tatsoi and kale full size in the house. And I was testing out the three different lights to see which ones did better. And um, so that's what those pictures are for. Uh, plant okay when you bring plants in you have to get rid of the main but you can't avoid bugs completely I know it freaks people out but you're gonna have bugs that's all there is to it if you grow stuff in the house you're gonna have bugs I don't care if you have one house plant or a thousand there's gonna be bugs but it's how you take care of it that keeps them from being annoying but anything that I keep outside we put in big buckets of mild soapy water let them soak for 15 20 minutes give them a rinse and spray them with a, a heavy dose of neem oil with detergent and it's worked really well for us. So everybody got a bath before they came in. Then they quarantined in the garage for a week, week to two weeks. Um, weekly wrap up again. And oh, hey, that was the end. That was quick. And then we're moving into October. I got wax stuff. So that's, that's that. So yay, go me, I got, got our flippy thing going. I'll be back for a flip on this and then you've been I've been doing the mil, mi, miscellaneous meandering things trying to kind of keep working towards getting into the habit of doing this stuff and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed the flip. Again, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I, uh, mostly I'm on Facebook in the Fobonichi Journalers group. We would, if you daily journal, come join us. We would love to see your stuff. Um, if you're on face on Instagram and you daily journal, come hit me up. We'll, we'll, we'll trade follows. Um, it's all under mouse potato designs or Fobonichi Journalers. So all the information is down below. I will see you guys later. It's cold. We went from last week in the 80s to it's like 12 degrees. I don't know how cold it is, but I'm going to have to go start the pellet stove now because I'm cold. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for being here. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. 